Good morning. It is, what day is it? Tuesday. It is Tuesday morning. I am about to go to get stuff for today's July 3rd. Tomorrow's July 4th. I'm having um, some people over at my house and I've got to go and get um, the ingredients to make a couple of desserts that I'm doing and then just um, like some paper plates and things like that. So I've got a busy day. But because I have to do this, I also get to sneak in a trip to Barnes & Noble. I um, have just posted on Instagram and asked for chapter book suggestions for lower elementary because when I taught first grade, the only thing I'm remembering is Jeannie B. Jones. And I know there's gotta be some more other than Jeannie B. Jones. So um, I'm hoping that y'all come through or Instagram comes through and gives me some recommendations. I will take you guys along, of course, and then I'll show you what I get. I also want to go and check Michael's because I, I've bought a desktop calendar. I have to have one of those like flat desktop calendars. I've bought one, but then I saw on Instagram um, that I think it's the Happy Planner has this teacher planner and it is gorgeous. It's like a flat desk calendar and it's so pretty. So I'm going to go and hopefully they will have it and I can get it. Um, and I can I can do something with the other one. Um, the other one, I want to say it was, um, I think it was, what is that? It's the Simple Simple Design is by Emily Lay, something with Simple. I'm hoping that they have the Happy Planner one and then I can just use the uh, Emily Lay one because it's gorgeous too. Um, I can use it at home in my office. So um, anyways, I'll take you guys along and show you what I get and um, hopefully I'll have a good haul to share with y'all when I get back. carpet I used this place um, back in the winter when I was getting my old house ready to sell I needed to replace the carpet in a couple of the bedrooms and um, when I was there pick, or when I was here picking out the carpet they had just like this box of like odds and end pieces and they were bright green and bright pink and I remember thinking that would be great for the classroom and I really am hoping y'all probably can't even see me it's so dark but um and here I am chatting away but I'm hoping that they have uh either like an 8 by 10 bright pink or two 5 by 7s that I could put together for the classroom so I'm going to run in and see what they have if they have anything usable for the classroom and if they do I'll show you what they have and what I get okay so as you can tell I had some luck 
Um, I went in originally to just get those two pink ones, but then I don't know if you can see how pretty that green is. I just could not pass that up. It was the prettiest green. So let me, let me try and um, show you. It's showing up on camera. Um, but I just, I don't know. I don't know. I just couldn't pass up the pink and the green. I am trying my hardest to get past the pink and green because I always tend to do pink and green um, in my classroom. And I really wanted to try to do something different this year, but I don't know. Everything I pick up is pink and green. So it's just, I love pink and green, but um, I just, I think those are going to be so pretty. So I have a plan on how to how to use them in the classroom. Even if it doesn't work, I think separating them will be fine. But I just, I thought, I knew I would regret it if I didn't do the green. So I'm uh, here at my classroom. I'm gonna um, put them in the, they've, they're have they supposed to have waxed my classroom. And I'm just gonna put them outside the door so that when they move all the furniture back in, they can move these in for me. So um, I'm, I'm really excited. That's a huge thing to cross off my list. Okay, so it is later on in the day. I have a huge Barnes & Noble haul to share with y'all. Um, I have filmed off and on all day, so I don't know how I'm gonna piece all of these clips together, so I kinda hate to like start this clip with, you know, hey y'all, or it's later on in the day, because I don't know, <laughs> I don't know how many times I've said that, because I've filmed from like 7.30 this morning to right now, and it's currently like six o'clock, so it's it may be choppy i'm sorry um okay so let's just dive right in i got a lot of chapter books let me preface this by saying because i know some of y'all are going to say you have to buy your own books y'all y'all always say that no you do not have to buy your own books at my school i love to buy um children's books for my classroom library some publishers send them to me most i purchase on my own i um have a video about getting cheaper books for your classroom. I use Book Outlet a lot. I use the used book section from Amazon. Um, another one is Thrift Books, a lot of people tell me about. Very rarely do I go to Barnes & Noble and buy this many chapter books and picture books. But um, if you do go to Barnes & Noble, make sure that you have their educator's card. It's free. Um, you just have to show some sort of um, school ID and it, it really does help. This order was quite a bit and it took $30 off of this order. Um, and like I said, I hardly ever do this. I have not done this any this summer. I did like a couple of mini hauls right when I figured out that I was uh, moving to second grade. But this one, this one's just kind of a, a bigger one that is not normal. So please don't think I go out and spend this much on books every week because I don't. Um, again, I just love buying books from my classroom library. I'll use a lot of scholastic bonus points once we get into the school year. And, um, you know, there are very many different ways to save, but sometimes I just like to go to Barnes Noble and see what they have. So that's what I did today. And that's what I'm going to show y'all and share with you. Okay. So the first one that I got, cannot wait to read this one. This is the newest Mo Willems book. The pigeon has to go to school. It's as adorable as you had hoped it would be. I absolutely love the Pigeon series. This one is so cute and so perfect for the first day of school. Um, of course, the Pigeon doesn't want to go to school. He's nervous. So perfect for the first day or the first week. So I had to pick this one up. That was just a no-brainer. I really want the Pigeon stuffed animal. And they had him, but he was like 18 or 24. He was quite expensive so I put him back he was in my arms I put him back <laughs> um, this one is called underwear this one is really cute for rhyme scheme and um, I'm hoping to incorporate phonics in there somehow um, but it's just it's really cute it's about a, a little bear who keeps misunderstanding his um, dad when his dad tells him to put on underwear so I thought that one was super cute and I thought the kids would appreciate that this one I have not read but they had a deal at Barnes & Noble where if you, I think it was if you bought at least one picture book, you got this one half off and it made it like $7. So I picked it up just because it was cheaper and it was a hardback book for $7. But I don't know um, anything about it. She did say that it was good for older kids. They they know that I teach fifth grade there. They don't know that I've moved to, uh, to second. But she was talking about how good 
the uh, back section was and it had a lot of info for older kids and, um, and I thought that too so uh, if you're like fifth grade or sixth grade this one would be good um, and I mean even if you're lower elementary the uh, the bulk of the story is not that in-depth so um, I got that one this next one y'all if you have followed my Instagram you know how much I love what is his name I want to say it. Joy Joy John that is a mouthful Joy John is just one of my favorite authors he's right on up there with Mo Willems and Ben Clanton he has a new book out called that's what dinosaurs do it is precious he wrote my favorite picture book of last year which I'm having a giveaway I don't know if it'll be up by the time this vlog goes up, but I'm having a giveaway of my top five picture books from last year. And spoiler alert, my number one favorite was, and I'll just go ahead and share it because it's going to be part of the giveaway, The Good Egg. This is the best story. The Good Egg is about, it's the companion to a bad seed, and a bad seed is amazing too, but a good egg is phenomenal. It's about an egg, of course and he puts a lot of pressure on himself to be the best and to try hard and to make sure that everybody's following the rules and he puts so much pressure on himself that he begins to crack so it just deals with stress and anxiety and just speaks volumes i resonated with this book so much and kids do too this this is one that everybody should have counselors especially um it's just amazing so i got this one for the giveaway but he also wrote this one that's what dinosaurs do it's extremely cute i can't wait to share it with the kids um it's really cute it's about a dinosaur who wars so much that he loses his voice and the doctor tells him he doesn't need to do that anymore so he has to like control himself and then he just can't do it anymore um it's really cute it's really good for lower elementary because it um has like a repetitive um i used to know what that was called it's been so long um like it's just like the kids can figure out what's gonna come next because it always says that's what dinosaurs do so it's um it's really it's, it's a good engaging in, um read aloud i guess that's what i'm trying to say I'm not doing real good with um, describing that one. <laughs> the next one that I got was Unicorn Day. I've seen this on Instagram a ton. I've seen it in the stores. I've never, it's never caught my eye until now. I bought this one and it is every bit as amazing as everyone says it is. This one is about how special unicorns are and how they love, you know, that they sparkle and that they're very unique and they get into a glitter fight and while I was reading this, I thought, okay, this is just incredibly light and there's no depth to it. But when they get into a glitter fight, some of the glitter falls off of the horse and you find out that he was just pretending to be a unicorn. The other unicorns have to decide whether it's okay that he is um, still in their group and their club. And um, it's just a great one for acceptance. This one, really cute. You may think it's just a light and fluffy novel, but there's some hidden depth to it and a good message. So that was all the picture books that I got. I got one, two, three, four, five for myself, and then one for the giveaway. Um, so I'm gonna sort those. Then I got, I limited myself to one stuffed animal because I'm trying to build back up my Reading Buddies collection. And this is one that I didn't have originally. And it is, of course, Dogman. My fifth graders were obsessed with Dogman. I know my second graders will be. I just, you can't, there's just something magical and special about Dogman. I will confess, I've never read it. Graphic novels are not my thing. I've read graphic novels before, and the ones I have, like the Babysitter Club series, and um, I read El Defo, Sunny Side Up. I love Sunny Side Up. When I read them, they're fine and I love them, but there's just, they're not something that I gravitate toward so I've never read Dogman so I did get a new copy of Dogman and I need to pick it up and read it I have like four copies of this one but this is a well-loved book in my fifth grade classroom and most of the copies were on their last leg and they were the spine were, was torn and they just they had seen their better days so I just went ahead and got a brand new copy of it um to go along with the stuffed animal so I'm really excited 
um, to bring Dogman to my second grade classroom. And then I asked y'all on Instagram and y'all came through with flying colors. I shared so many great chapter book suggestions. And here's what I got. The first one I got is Dave Plackey's. He's the author of Dogman. I got his, like, I don't know. I don't know if this is a series or just this little little reader but it's called a friend for dragon it doesn't have a number i don't know y'all let me know if this is a series if y'all know um i thought this was really good for the first part of the year um it's like just a kind of like a step into chapter book reading i guess but i thought anything by dave Blocky is going to be amazing and i'm probably butchering how to say his last name uh then y'all told me how amazing fly guy was so i got i don't know if these are numbered it doesn't say on the spine but i got prince fly guy i want the entire series but i got prince to start off with then i got the first amelia bedelia amelia bedelia means business who doesn't love Amelia Bedelia? I got this series called The Critter Club. This was the first one. It's Amy and the Missing Puppy. I thought that was really cute. Um, I got ooh, Captain Awesome to the Rescue. This is the first one in the series. Then I got Judy Moody. So many of you were recommending Judy Moody. So I picked up the first one in this in that series. This one I'm really excited about. It's Isadora Moon Goes to School. Um, this is the first one in this series, but there was a lot of them and they just looked so cute. It's uh, Isadora Moon loves sunshine and nighttime. She loves her magic wand and her black tutu. She loves spooky bats and pink rabbit. So I just love that one. It was about a unique girl who is interested in different things. Okay, so that was my Barnes & Noble haul. Um, I'm excited with what I got. Again, it was a bigger haul. It's not something I do all the time, but um, I'm I'm just so anxious to put my classroom together and I'm so excited about the books that I'm gonna put in the classroom. So um, I just went to Barnes Noble and splurged a little bit. Hey y'all, happy Thursday. I think yesterday I said it was Tuesday. This week is just completely off to me. It's like no day has felt like what the actual day was. I think it's because it's the 4th of July this week and it's today. Um, I'm having family over tonight. We're gonna cook out. Um, currently, I am making a strawberry delight cake. So that's my mess. I'm waiting for the oven to preheat, but um, there's a ton to do. I've gotta get everything set up. They're coming over and we're gonna have like a little, little late um, supper, but as you can see, um, it's like, um, it's one o'clock and there's still a lot to do. So I was there, there's the oven, it's ready. So um, I was just gonna check in with you guys and hopefully I can share a little bit more about the day, but it's gonna be quite busy. So I'll check in if I have time to. later just have poured your oil you're supposed to poke holes in it which I did and then you're supposed to pour a can of um, sweetened condensed milk and I've done that and you're supposed to let it cool to room temperature and then put um, the strawberry topping and or just the strawberries and cool whip on it so I'm waiting on that Saturday morning I have just woken up and curled my hair so it's a bit curlier than normal it uh, takes a couple of hours to like relax and settle down so right now it's a bit too curly for my taste okay so for today I have a ton of work that I have to be um, working on I'm trying to finish up the lower elementary version of the pineapple project which is my back to school activity um, I'll link the one for grades 
like it would be best suited for three through six but i have heard seventh and eighth grade use it um someone commented last night that their college students use it but it's not suitable for i would say younger than third grade so i've had requests to make a lower elementary version of that and that's what i've been working on i'm in the final stages of that if you'll look at my i've bought this like white cork board at Hobby Lobby it's just a regular cork board but I painted it white and I'm going to put it over here because this is where I can map out my units and stuff but um if you look to this one here these like each post-it represents um something that I still have to do in the unit that quite a bit left in the pineapple project but the good news is that all of that is just like stuff to photograph so um it won't take that long so that's what i'm going to be doing today work-wise i'm gonna um photograph the um products that are on the pink sticky notes and then i'll just put the finishing touches on the unit and send it to the editors so i'm hoping that i can upload it um by monday which is in two days so i need to get busy on that so i'm going to show you a little bit of behind the scenes work on product creation and then um, hopefully I'll be a little bit closer to sending into the editors because once it's sent to the editors, I mean, it's pretty much done. So I am hopeful that I can finish it today or tomorrow, but at least by Monday. We lose, I'm cold, red, my service automated, like data running through my veins. Got you distracted, subconscious overloaded, careful, don't pull the cord off.
Okay, so I have just finished all of the photographs. You can see my aftermath of how everything is. Now I've got to transfer the photos to my computer, edit them, put them in the unit, and then finalize it and send it to the editor. So I'm doing pretty good, but there's still a ton of work. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more teacher-related videos. I will talk to you guys next week. Bye.